And let me talk about my favorites because because I'm tired of giving brands so much free money. But like I don't feel like it's the best option and it's a lot of work. And But also I'm not interested in looking crazy in these streets. I'm decluttering as I do every year and we're by the hair products. But like a lot more is happening because I think in this year a lot has changed. So at the top of the year I told you guys I'm going to embrace my gray hair. Um, I'm changing the channel etc. I would do it gradually and I've done it very gradually. Many of you have noticed. Um, if you haven't noticed I have privated a lot of videos or unlisted them um, because I'm tired of giving brands so much free money. There are brands that have my videos on their web pages and I've had for years. I'm just kind of tired of giving them free money. Um, I leave up what I think is most useful to the community, right? My Tip Tuesdays really is what you need to know for your hair. The rest of it there are roundup videos that I've left up because it does help people. I know it helps people, but I also am sick of giving these brands so much money. A lot of brands disrespect me as well as far as like sponsorships and stuff. I mean, there are definitely brands, more than one, I'm not going to name them, who consistently, consistently lowball me uh, for sponsorships and I've just stopped taking them. You guys may have noticed I have not done hardly any sponsorships this year. Um, because I really wanted to move my channel to a different place and my hair and all the beauty is encompassed with that But before I continue empties, I haven't done empties in a long time on the channel So curly magic uncle funky's daughter curly magic curl stimulator. I finally finished it up and I will not be repurchasing this I do think it's a wonderful curl primer. You have to use a lot of it use more than less with this but like I don't feel like it's the best option and it's a lot of work and uh, it's just not my favorite, so I won't be repurchasing it. The Wet Line Extreme Professional Gel, the original formula. I ran out. I'm so sad. I ran out of all of it, okay? <laughs> I was trying to hold on to this. Oh, still the goat. If they still had that, I would use it. The original formula. I ran out of my Oma Beauty Drama Bomb Mascara, um, and I need to re-up on that soon. Ran out of my La Roche-Posay Telerian Double F Repair moisturizer that I was using to moisturize my face. I still like this a lot, but I like my um, Ursa Major a lot, a lot better. So when I run out of what I have, I will be repurchasing this for daytime. It is just nice and light, but very hydrating and you don't need much at all. And it goes really well under sunscreen and all kinds of stuff. Um, I ran out of my Black Girl Sunscreen Kids. I have another one because I walk and run outside most days. So I use that every every time I do. This is the Obia Naturals Curl Hydration Spray. I ran out of this on my braids. Um, I just love this as like a, a daily braid spray or a curl refresher. Like just spray this on and just add a little gel while you need it. Like this is just a really nice hydrating spray. Um, it makes a nice hydrating leave-in for looser textures as well. Or if you don't like to use leave-ins because you think they'll interrupt your wash and go, that one won't. So just use that. It has all you need. I finally ran out of my Audra Beauty Balmint Curl Defining Cream. Definitely a wonderful, wonderful cream curl definer that you, if you put on like a, a curl primer, I should say. So just like Curly Magic, I think it's another good curl primer. Um, and it's just, it shines really. It's really, really good. I really like it. Um, it gives you like the natural looking wash and go, which I really, that's my favorite kind of wash and go, which is um, something else we have to talk about. Um, I also ran out of my Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Matte. I don't purchase this anymore. I use, uh, Japanese sunscreen. Oh, I ran out of this, but I repurchased it. The Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not editing this. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Um, I repurchased it and I poured part of it into the travel size so that when I travel I have it. So, yeah, love this. The subscriber who told me to apply powder to a sponge, spray this on the sponge, and then put it on my face, A1. It makes my makeup last through days of travel. I'll put my New York travel video on there. You can see a full day of me wearing makeup with this to set it and it, it looks good. And then we have the Hyper Hyper Even Brightening Dark Spot Vitamin C Serum. I used this twice. I tried it and though it feels good, um, for my dark spots, it didn't do the trick. So I'm trying Drunk Elephant right now. That's what my Vital C is what my dermatologist recommended and Drunk Elephant is supposed to be like a dupe to the point where Vital C wants to sue them. So I'm using that. This is the EOS Shea Butter Sensitive Shave Cream. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this one. I don't know. I, I just ran out of it. Like this is what I always use. I have another one. <laughs> this is what I used to shave. Um, and then the Ordinary 
hair care so fate four percent cleanser for body and hair this is really good really good i think it's eight dollars eight or nine dollars from ulta this is a, would make a great weekly shampoo if you're in the market it's inexpensive if you haven't seen my video of products under twenty dollars that's in there it's really really good so i mentioned like the way i like to do my wash and go the way i like my wash and go to look that's changed like the way i feel about the look of my hair has changed and i think part of the problem with this channel for me is like me resisting what i need to accept right so the way people like to do their hair these days it's not with my ethos like people are looking for the absolute perfect curl it's so funny so many of my old wash and go videos people go under them now and are like do you think if you used a brush and blah 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 you get a more defined result with longer lasting um hold no i wouldn't get a longer lasting hold yes i can get a more defined result but it's a result that's not really my natural curl pattern it takes away the volume which I really love in my hair. Um, and so I like my hair to look natural in its natural state. I just like it to have hold. <laughs> um, and so that's one of the reasons like I'm not having as much fun because when I do wash and goes, people are trying to tell me how to get a different kind of look, even though I know how to do it. Um, and that's just the climate of the, the space. And I don't have a problem with that. And at the same time, like I said, I don't want to create content giving away so much to these brands that don't give back to me or most influencers with kinky hair so what i decided to do and what i've been doing is no one brand reviews or not featuring a brand in my videos instead it'll be like this is all the products i used for this right um and this is the way i used it etc moving forward but also i'm not interested in looking crazy in these streets like I have in the past, right? I think there's a difference between now and the past. I know my style. I know what my hair can look like. I know how to make it happen. And I know products that make it look good and or my aesthetic. And so that's what I'm interested in. And so that's basically what you're gonna see moving forward. I am not interested in looking like a plum fool or trying to see how many days I can get out of something when I'd rather wash my hair on day four or day five. I'm just not interested in that. And coming to that realization, like the realization that I don't have to do this for y'all, right? I can do this for me and you get out of it what you get out of it, right? And so moving forward, I'm pretty much using up my product and uh, buying products that I know work and experimenting still, but in a very particular way, in a way that doesn't have me on these streets looking crazy, in a way that doesn't have me chasing the look that y'all want, but instead me doing the look I want. And that includes twist outs and wash and goes and you know I haven't blown out my hair in a while. I thought about being a straight hair natural but I know it would destroy this channel because some of y'all have opinions about what is natural and what's not natural and I kind of feel like I became a slave to not doing things that would hurt this channel but I'm over it. <laughs> I really am. Um, I freed myself from that. Uh, I, it's not like people have subscribed in mass, right? I only have 25,000 subscribers, which is great, which is a lot. But for the length of time I've been on YouTube, there's no reason that I should feel obligated to do anything. So moving forward, y'all gonna see me using a lot of my favorite products. And let me talk about my favorites because um, people keep asking me to update my favorites. And Okay, so there is one update. My favorite shampoo, tried it this year, and it immediately reminded me of the main choice shampoo I used to love and adore. And it still works really well. I think this shampoo still works really well. But this works like it used to. The Olaplex Number no. 4 Bond Maintenance Shampoo. This works like the main choice alpha shampoo used to work. It used to be called Easy on the Curls, I think. And I adore this. So this is what I'm using from now on. Just straight up, this is my hydrating shampoo of choice. My clarifying shampoo of choice is Kiki Curly Come Clean. I've talked about it several times. It is beautiful and works perfectly on my natural hair. And shampoo is so important in your natural hair arsenal that I think people underestimate it. And I think it's why I have a particular favorite for those two things. Now, as far as deep conditioners, I can't tell you what favorite, okay? It does not matter to me. <laughs> there are so many on the market. All I have to do is use one. I love a good conditioner that has strengthening ingredients and hydrating ingredients. There's so many on the market. I'm not gonna sit here and name all of them. Um, if you guys want me to, I'll create a list and put it on the blog. But otherwise, there's just so many I can use. I have a ton to get through deep conditioners. 
I'm not gonna name any favorites because I don't have any. There's so many that work well. Then we have leave-ins, another category. I don't have a favorite. There's so many that work well. I, there was a time when we didn't have it, but we do now. I don't need to have a favorite, so I don't have one. Now, stylers. I do have favorites in that arena. So, Paul Mitchell, the conditioner. Now, you may say this is a leave-in conditioner. It is, but I use it as a styler. It doesn't provide me enough hydration, the original. The Sally Beauty's version does. This one I use just as a curl primer of sorts, and it works beautifully. It's one of the few that work this way, so it's a staple, right? Um, my absolute favorite curl primer or curl enhancing type custard there are I'd say two or three of them my absolute favorite is the she sent it curl perfection custard styling custard and the plum nectar and agave lime the be naturals curl enhancing custard love that to death um there might be a third one but I can't think of it right now um and my absolute favorite cleansing conditioner is the oil and ginger mint color wash there's nothing like it there are some Others that are good, like the Dew, has a really good co-wash. Um, I would say that's really good. This is my favorite, okay? <laughs> my favorite. Now, gels, mousses, I don't have a favorite. Do not have a favorite. There was a time when I did, now I don't. There are so many on the market that I think work really well. The thing is, the, the difference here is the curl primer, okay? For a long time, the idea of a curl primer was not what it is now right the she sent it knocks it out of the park obia knocks it out of the park this knocks it out of the park in a way that i don't feel the need to have things to weigh my hair down instead the gel the mousse is just for holes right i love the natural volume in my hair and i can get that volume and definition in a way that I had to use gels before and I ain't got to do that no more. So now gels are literally just to get multi-day hair. So I do not have a favorite. Same with the mousses. There are thousands of mousses here. When people ask me the one with the most told, I have a video on that. I'll link the video. But other than that, I don't care. <laughs> it does not matter. All of these work for twist outs, for wash and goes. They all work. Favorite oil? I don't have one, okay? They're great oils. Like I said, if you want me to create a list, I'll create it and I'll put it on the blog and I'll just keep it updated if you guys want that. And why will I do that? Because those are affiliate links. And so I'll at least get something out of my labor. I'm not willing to do the same labor that I once was. Like I said, things have changed. I adore sharing my journey with you all. I adore you all. Like this community is amazing. I don't expect this channel to grow more. <laughs> I would love it if it did, but I don't. Instead, I just love being in community with y'all. I love sharing my thoughts, my journey on uh, Patreon. We share a lot deeper. I will share my Black Friday list on Patreon. That is happening. But otherwise, this channel is going to keep this ethos. I am in love with my hair. I'm ready to get it back. I'm ready to not go into another set of braids, but instead just to really enjoy my hair. So when these do come out in December, I'm going to be planting my hair again. And I'll share what I share, right? I'll share when I figure something out or if I feel the feel moved to share it, I'll share it. I know that there is a mental shift that has happened to me this year. I have changed. If you watch the videos that are happening from here to the, to the new year, I'll explain a lot more. But I just really am in the business of not making myself look a fool to try products. I'm in the business of not giving these brands so much free money. Um, that they're making so much money off of us. I was pissed off by the Netflix documentary, The Beauty Effect. I talked about it on Patreon. So that probably tipped me over the edge here. But I'm sick and tired of these brands making so much money off of us black influencers. And I'm not blaming them. I'm not mad at them for it because this is the name of business. This is the name of capitalism in this space. I do get mad when they talk about community but don't live community. But that's probably another video if you have any questions <laughs> leave them below don't ask me about giving you product i won't be i'm about to declutter but anything that i want to get rid of i'll give to a patron let me know your favorite products as well things you think i should try i mean i always want to know it doesn't mean it's going to happen but i want to know so that when i'm shopping for black friday i may pick up a new thing or two